Um, we're also going to be talking to, about a an artist um, who's really making a name in the world of pet portraits. Yes, he calls himself Hercule von Van, excuse, excuse, yeah. excuse me, Van Wolfwinkel, and his speciality is uh, being able to draw a really rubbish picture of your pet. Yeah. So if you don't believe us, um, have a little look at this. These are the dogs and these are the portraits. Uh, Phil Heckles, as he's otherwise known, started all this off as a bit of a joke, but it's grown thanks to social media. <laughs> and he's now, look at them, he's now taking commissions and raising money for a homeless charity. Wait. It's a big old dog, isn't it? <laughs> um, so stay tuned for our interview with Hercule. And uh, you can see more of his amazing work. We'll speak to him just before 8 o'clock this morning. Oh, but, you know, it does capture something of the pets, yeah, I think, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, well, we'll judge it later because he's actually done some pictures of our pets, all of our pets as well. Mm, yes, yeah, so I always worry when a producer from BBC Breakfast so brings you the day before, so send us a picture of your whatever it might be, so we'll, uh, we'll see well, what happens. Yeah. Well, we've got some lovely things on breakfast this morning, including, um, I don't really know how to put this, uh, rubbish pet portraits. No. Badly yeah. drawn pets. <laughs> Badly drawn pets. And you um, have given us a picture of your lovely dog. Yes, very beautiful, glamorous Sadie. What yep. have they done to her? Should we have a look at her? Go on. So there's Sadie <gasps> on the left. <laughs> there's her portrait on the right. I don't think she looks that bad, I Sally. think she looks great. <laughs> I think that's going on my wall at home. That's brilliant. It's super cute there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's not just you, though, Sal. Go on. Um, we're going to be speaking to the artist later on, but um, we also have Carol's... Magnificent cat, Donald. Wait oh, for Donald. it. We're going to go to the weather with Carol in a moment, but there is um, <laughs> slightly, uh, slightly smaller gap between the old eyes there, Carol. Not, not sure, not sure how you feel about Big Donald there. What's happened to my boy? <laughs> He's so handsome as well. I don't think he'll be too happy with that oh. one at all. Anyway, good morning, everybody. It's <laughs> something else which is meant to look awful, actually. Um, here is the, he's the self-titled acclaimed artist whose rubbish drawings of cats and dogs have made hundreds of pet owners really happy. Yeah, we're not being cruel. No. Um, now, for weeks, Hercule van Wolfwinkel has been making a dog's dinner of his subjects, and it's all to try and support charity, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to speak to him in a moment, but first, have a look at the works of art that have taken the internet by storm. Careful people's pets, haven't you? But they're going down the storm. Hercule van Wolfwinkel, also known as uh, Phil Heckles, joins us now from his home in West Sussex. Good morning to you, Phil. How are things? It's, um, I, I know you've done some of our pets as well. We'll get to those a little bit later on. But how did you, how did you start drawing ugly animals? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it was all a bit... It happened sort of naturally, really. It was about... I don't know, sort of five, six weekends ago, um, I was trying to coerce my six-year-old son, Sam, um, into making some thank you cards. Um, so I got all of his felt tips out and paper and stuff. And just to get him interested, I drew a picture of our dog, um, and uh, which he sort of coloured in. And, and that got him going on the thank you cards. And then while he was drawing the thank you cards... Um, I drew another couple of pictures of our dog, trying to trying my best to copy some photos on my phone, um, and just stuck them on Facebook with a jokey comment saying "pet portraits for sale, two hundred and ninety nine quid." Um, and by the end of that day, I think I'd drawn about six portraits for people, um, and it kind of just sort of naturally kind of gathered a bit of pace from there a um, couple of days after doing that I'd had I'd set up the page because I'd had about 25 requests for portraits outstanding um, 
and then a friend of mine, Matt, um, asked for a picture of his dog Jess, which I did, and he he said I've got to pay something for it. Um, well, you've seen them. I can't accept it. You know, I couldn't accept any money <laughs> for it because it was rubbish. Um, and uh, that that was then how the just giving thing started. Um, so it, the, again, the charity thing kind of just came. I say at a later date. It all happened within the space of a few days. But then the just giving. Um, suggestion came up um and it's just snowballed really thankfully for the charity obviously well you say you say they're rubbish but they've got charm about them is it are you try i mean when you do it are you thinking about oh i'm going to capture something in this pet or you're just thinking i'm just going to try um I, I mean to be honest it is i mean like obviously kind of making the eyes a little bit goofy and that kind of thing it, that's I'm obviously doing that on purpose, but the rest of it is genuinely me trying my hardest to draw, you know, to draw what's in front of me. Um, and I think uh, you probably, actually some of the complaints I've had on the page have been that they've got a bit too good in inverted commas. Um, <laughs> But like I say, you know, it's just because I guess when you draw 210 portraits in six weeks or whatever I've done, I mean, I hope I would improve. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, some of them are obviously like the, you can see that where I've tried to make them a bit goofy and stuff. But I, again, I know people don't believe me, but I'm not an artist. I've never drawn in my life. I didn't do I didn't even do art at school in GCSEs or anything like that. Um, so it is me trying my best to create something and sticking it on the page and hoping someone likes it. And well, you, you know, you've managed to raise a lot of money as well for this this homeless charity. Phil, let's have a look at. I think you've done the um, some of our uh, pets. So um, I think this is is this first up. I think it's my is it, dog, is it Winnie. Your dog Winnie. Is it Winnie? Winnie. Yeah, look Winnie at that. Winnie on the left. <laughs> yes, real Winnie on the left. Long legged Winnie on the right. Yours is next. This is Waffle Louise. Yeah, Waffle coming up. See, I, I, they, Phil, you, you love that, you, don't you? Yeah, you do yourself down. You see, I think they're, I, I think they're not rubbish. This is uh, <laughs> Sally's model dog, Sadie. Yeah, she's actually a model, Sally's dog. Here we go, Sadie. Oh, well, I've probably ended that career then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you have. I think the money will keep rolling in. We've got a uh, Carol's cut. Donald, no, Carol, Phil, Carol did say that she can't show this to Donald because Donald would be appalled at this. And no, finally... that's all right. Don't blame her. <laughs> yeah, and finally, Nina, um, who's with us as well. And um, what do you think of your dog, Billy? That is my mum's dog, Billy. Oh, I is mean, he's, he's not he's not been very well, hence the tongue coming out, bless him. But, um, yeah, I love it. So, She's going to love it. Doesn't look very well with those eyes as well. No, uh, this is <laughs> a bit different about the eyes. You've done a great job. Uh, Phil, thank you very much indeed. And as I say, all the money going to charity. Thank you so much. I'm sure the requests will keep coming in as they well. They will now, won't they? I'm